Hello and welcome to Farming Simulator 2017 Mod Showcase with me, Kevin Sawyer. And you join me here and on my uh, desktop background. And you might be scratching your head thinking, well, this doesn't look like Farming Simulator 2017 at all, Kev. What, what's going on? Um, I'm going to try and sort of like kill two birds with one stone or save two herd birds with one hand. Um, Basically, a friend of mine was having trouble um, installing this mod, so I, I helped him out and I figured, hmm, if he's having trouble, other people may be having the same sort of problem. So again, I'm just going. this is going to be both a mod showcase and a tutorial on how to install it, and what was the mod we're talking about today? It is Course Play, and it's the official one from the official modders who made the original Course Play for 2017 it's the f all legit it's you know and it works I've tested it briefly um, off screen and it works fine it got, I had no bugs or issues but you may run across against one or two because it is still technically in testing um, all links will be in description down below guys so and a list of uh, things you need uh, I'll put it in a list way so you guys can um, go for it step for step if you you know, if you get um, lost in a video somewhere or uh, you miss a step, you can go back through your steps and just check it. But please feel free to pause the video wherever you like or go back to the beginning of the video or watch the video again if there's something you've missed. But anyway, let's, uh, first things first, we need to download the mod. Um, so, I'll bring up the site where you need to download it from. Now again guys, the link will be in the description down below, so please um, don't worry about copying URLs or anything. But first of all, so once you click on that link that you'll see in my description, um, you'll see this page. What do I do, need to do next, Kev? Well, it's quite straightforward. You need to go to click or download, or clone and download, I should say. And it gives you two options, open the desktop or download zip. Click download zip and then make sure it's save file don't open with save file okay so once you've got that make sure the description is correct as well so it should say course play master zip then press ok and it should download it may take longer for you guys or may, may be even quicker but once it's downloaded um, you left click on your toolbar your download toolbar and then right click on open containing folder once you've done that you should get this and it should say course play master zip what you do ne need to do next um, quite straightforward you need to right click on it and it should bring up a load of options you can either use in uh, windows if you using Windows to extract it or you can use 7-zip. I tend to like prefer using 7-zip because it works just as well and if not better than Windows. Um, again I'll leave a link in the description down below for you guys to download 7-zip but please feel don't feel obliged to download 7-zip I just use it because I find it easier and recommend it. But anyway next you need to go extract files so extract file you can either extract files or extract here so, either the extra files will give you a option to take them to a location. If you just say extract here, it should extract them to here. You can with extra files, you can extract it to your desktop or wherever you wish it to go. Next thing, right? This is where next next aspects. Once you've opened or extracted it with your seven zip, you need to open the folder and then you need to select all the files in that folder you can either select it with the mouse or control and copy or control and select all um, once you've done that you then need to then right click again and it bring up your option 7 zip then go across to 7 zip and then or whatever software you're using and there should be an option to add to archive so add to archive now it should bring up a box like this 
if it and what if it's all done correctly um if you're using seven zip for the very first time or any other type of software that's you know similar to seven zip you may find it's not selected under the right file format and you might find uh, for seven zip it's in this format it says seven z um or it might say raw or it might say another type of file format just make sure it's selected to zip file and I can't emphasize that, that, that enough it needs to be selected file format as zip if it's any other type it will not recognize it in Farming Simulator 2017 it's just how they do things in 2017 now um, but anyway once you've selected that and you've made sure it's 7 zip make sure you change the name from its existing name from Courseplay Master Zip to Courseplay, sorry, ZZZ underscore Courseplay and I'll paste it in so again just make sure it's this format Again, guys, uh, in my step for step in the description down below, you'll I'll put that as one of the steps. And what you need to do, well, once you've done that, and you're happy with everything, everything set correctly, press OK, and it should be done. Now, if you've set it up like me, and just it should appear just where you've just copied all the files from, and it'd be sitting under here as a zzz underscore course play zip. Right, so what's next? You then go onto your search bar on your Windows and whatever operating system you're working on. Go My Games. And it should bring up a list of the games you've got. So, what you then do is select Farming Simulator 17. Now, you see you've got your mods and everything. Oops. Once you you've opened up that folder hang on just move things around a bit so I'm just working with both two screens there we go you then grab your 77 seven, your course play zip and throw it into your mods folder and then just open up your mods folder you might find it's not straight immediately obvious um, just make sure your dates modified from current date downwards and like I have, so it should it should appear there in your at the top of the screen. If not, you might just need to refresh your um, the box, and it should appear straight away. But once you're happy, it's all in there. What's next? Obviously, you launch Farming Simulator, and so I'm going to do that now. I'll pause the video right here, and I'll should see you in Farming Simulator. Right guys, uh, welcome back to the Farming Simulator 2017. The obviously because of copyright issues, I've had to mute the gameplay sound, so I'll bring that back up as soon as we get into the game. But uh, just to, just make sure you've got it in there. So obviously, go to your mods, go to your installed mods, and you should see course play, and it's in installed. Right, so next things you need to do is then it may already be selected under my career, but then what you need to do is obviously select your career. Um, and it's coming up with that because I used the previous version. It shouldn't be a problem, so continue. And then just go down and make sure course play is there, which it is, so select it. Start. I can bring the music, mu the noise, uh, the the game sound back on now because the music stopped. Just wait for your game to load. Might take a bit of long on the first time because it's just getting everything ready. Start. Now it won't say it here because my save game has it differently but when you 
launch the game it'll come up with the default um, do you want to use course play click yes or no um, if you uh, want to use course play obviously you press, press yes if you don't then press no um, then it'll come up with another option asking you do you want to pay your workers again it's up to you if you want to pay your workers I think it's 888 pounds an hour or something silly like that but once once you've clicked yes or no or yes definitely if you want to use course play or yes or no to the pay it then scan like you just still there it's set scan that course play is scanned all the fields and it should work so I jump into any vehicle I want if I bring up the course play there we go it's there and then it's as you all know and love it it all works fine I don't get any problems look if I left click out I've not got like a f extra worker in here like I did briefly with the other course play I used it's all works fine I've tried it off screen um, I'll quickly set up a dummy course for you guys so you can see for yourself um, let's hire that guy off let's just get this guy to just do a dummy course around this field just to show you guys it works legitly there's no issues with it so again it's as you know how to use course play from course play from form simulator 15 you start course play recording and then you drive whatever course you wish to drive so again just for demonstration purposes I'm just going to drive just a quick course around here try not to hit the trees or get snagged up on anything on the way that should do it End your course here, and then just do that, and then try the course. And I'll jump out. You can see he might have got a bit confused, but we all know how course play sometimes get it set wrong. Yep, I was a bit too close to the start point, so just quickly just drive out from there. Drive course. Here we go. I'll jump out. And as you can see, he's driving on like normal. Like course play works, as we all know and love it. If I jump back in that tractor, if I can catch him, because he's going quite quick. Run for the tractor. I'll jump in here. Oh, as you can see, no, no glitching like I had before previously. Um, again, because of the way I've set the course up, he's gone a bit nuts on the bottom here. But you can see it definitely works. Again, I'll just clear that course out and let's make a proper genuine one that doesn't glitch out in any way just around this field probably because I had the start point and finish point a bit too close together Again, if you make a mistake, same problems, same aspects apply. Just like original course play, just delete, delete, delete back to the point you want to change it.
Again, that might be a bit too close, but we'll see. see. Drive course. And hopefully it should just go around the circles again that time. And he's got his beacons on. But it works for the combines. It was don't get any problems with the combines just getting it getting in the way of everything. But that concludes the mod showcase and tutorial of how to install courseplay, the official version of courseplay. Hope you guys in enjoyed the uh, mod showcase. If you did, um, please uh, feel free to like and uh, if you know anyone else that may find this mod showcase and tutorial useful to them, Again guys, please feel free to share, it helps me out a lot. And if you're new to my channel and you want to see future mod showcases and anything else that I'm working on, please feel free to subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. TTFN.